It's the 1st of December 2024. We are in Beast Club Hell, very famous place. With me I have the honor to have a small talk with Dave, vocalist, guitar player in Flaming Wreckage from Australia. Thanks a lot, first of all, Dave, for making some time in the busy schedule for uh, telling something about the band and the music. Um, first of all, can you introduce the band? Uh, in short, what's the band about, when was it founded, etc.? Yeah, sure. Just Thanks for having us, man. Much appreciate. Um, we're a band from Australia. We're Flaming Wreckage. We started in 2009, 2010. Uh -huh. uh, we play sort of mixed between thrash and death metal, somewhere in between. It's like some melodic influences coming we, we all listen to lots of different stuff so all right. our sound is kind of forever evolving i'd say but um yeah it's somewhere between thrash and death metal wow so and yeah we're a touring band we we play lots of shows and uh, -huh. uh love what we do man great great it's the first time in belgium or were you here already before uh we came to europe in 2018 okay we played in antwerp all right it's cool it's a really small place uh -huh. music city I think oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah, yeah it's cool yeah, love Belgium, man. We had a couple of days off here last time too, which is oh, nice. Oh, nice. So, so and, and we do it again this time. So, yeah, beautiful country. Looking forward to thanks checking so some much. Stuff out. Yeah, fantastic. Um, maybe a regular question: Flaming Wreckage. Yeah. Band name? Who invented that? <laughs> What's the story about that? Yeah. I hope it's not from your own experience that you had some bad luck somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's so curious no, no. Of, curious no, nothing like that um, <laughs> you know like our band started in, when I was in high school so okay. um, we were just you know doing this writing stupid names on pieces of paper and stuff but um, there's an episode of The Simpsons actually where oh. Krusty fakes his own death and uh, in that episode Ch Chief Wiggum's like oh look at all this flaming wreckage Oh! and uh, we were like oh that's awesome and like you know I'm such a massive Simpsons fan so okay. um, and then we just thought it would be cool to take the sea out which I kind of regret it's really annoying for a lot of people to okay. <laughs> but it looks cool in the logo Megadeth did sure. it so we could do it right it's fine. absolutely yeah. really? thanks thanks Simpsons yeah. so yeah pretty much that's that's the genesis of that Nothing Nothing, nothing, nothing no. But it's like you were saying before, right? You know, it's like all these bands have like super brutal band names, but it's always True. it's always some stupid you know, <laughs> story as to how they came up with it. So yeah, man, most of the time that's all the best band names that you just yeah, yeah, totally. fall upon yeah. or stumble upon something like that. Now the songs uh, you play, what uh, subjects or themes are the songs most about? Um, um, in general, let's say. Yeah, well, it's kind of an evolving thing. I write all the lyrics in the band, uh -huh. so um, on this last record, there's lots, lots of stuff about mental health. I'd say, you know, okay. like, I think there was a bit of a dark time in the band, like personally, like when we were writing this album. So, okay. it's a very therapeutic thing for me to like put it onto paper. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, just yeah. There's like a lot of loss and grief and stuff, but ultimately, okay. it's like hope is the main. Thing. so there's a positive message at the end of the oh, day right. but um i tend to write lyrics that are quite open you know i think people can take different pieces from them you know it's not very like obviously about one thing but you know mm -hmm. we've, we've written about everything from that to like you know like a organ harvesting cult in the desert you know like uh, pretty creative <laughs> with that sort of shit so nice yeah, man, it's a pretty broad range. One thing that we don't really do much of is get too political. I think we're like, sure, yeah. we're, we're more in the escapist sort of sure. sort of realm. You know, people come to our shows to forget about all that stuff. Of course, so, that's true. Yeah, we don't really write too much about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, interesting. Thank you so much. So the last album, 2024, this yeah. year was in April released. So uh, Terra Inferna. Yeah. What should we know about this album? Uh, what's yeah? We told already a little bit about maybe yeah. the themes, etc. Um, maybe why should people buy this album what makes it special let's yeah say. oh man <laughs> yeah it's been a big year for us actually like we've done uh -huh. this now in europe but um yeah that album it's like took we took our took our time writing it um it's got like i think it's the most complete we've ever sounded we started to play around with some different instrumentation and things like when we recorded uh -huh. um but yeah it's like it's a very big sounding record it's a real journey i'd encourage people to listen to it all the way okay. through rather than just you know, kind yeah, of sure. track by track. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, I think it's the best representation of what we sound like right now. Okay. So, like I was saying before, we got a lot of different influences to come to the band, and that's a forever evolving thing. You know, like Juzzy listens wow. to lots of sort of Japanese music. I listen to a lot of stoner metal. Wow. There's like some drum and bass. So, when all that stuff comes together, you know, like you can make something really cool. And the writing process on this was very collaborative. Like we were pretty much all in the same room all the time. So, Whoa. yeah. 
Um, Super. Yeah, it's, I, I th I'm really proud of it. I think it's like a nice big sounding metal album. You can bang your head, but it's got some you know, dynamics as well. So, yeah. So let's say the best representation yeah. of Fleming Records, Terra Inferna. Check it out, released in April 2024. So yeah. definitely you should, uh, should uh, hear that. Um, so your band is already started in 20, uh, 2009, sorry. So you have quite some experience also with, with shows, with yeah. gigs, etc. What would you say would be the most big uh, show ever on festivals or indoor? Or? Uh, I think <laughs> we played with Catatonia in Australia this year. In yeah. Sydney, that was probably the biggest show we've done. Okay. Yeah, Whoa. old school, it was like That's... sold out, like fifteen hundred people. Whoa! Yeah, it was awesome, man. Yeah. That's so. Yeah, we've we've done it, and we've done Huge. like shows with soil work and stuff before as Whoa. well in Australia. Um, big yeah. bands. So yeah, yeah, it's... we've played with some big bands that have come to Australia. So fantastic. Yeah, so I think that that was definitely a highlight. Like we've especially the venue that that show was at. Like we've all been going there for years. You know, it's wow. like so it's cool to play on that stage. Uh -huh. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. What would be your dream festival, let's say, if you ever get the the oh, yeah. so from Australia, but there are some quite some famous uh, festivals in Europe. Yeah. They're also in America, etc. So, if you would have the opportunity to play at one big uh, place, let's say, what would your your dream be? To oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> I know. There's, I know. So but... many. Um, <laughs> Oh, just so, I'm gonna say Hellfest because oh, right. like that's one I've been oh, wanting to go to okay. for a long time. But I just like I love the the aesthetic of that festival. You know, it's like like the presentation of it and like it looks super cool. All um, right, and yeah, you know the lineup's always unbelievable. So great. Yeah, I mean, but you know, Yvarkin, like any of those yeah. big ones, man. Like they're all <laughs> they're all amazing. Bit, yeah. So that's what we're trying to do here. You know, we're do, doing some smaller shows, but you've got to keep building up. And sure, yeah. one day we'll get there. And dreams can come true, yeah. so who never, Absolutely. you never know. Most of the times, I always hear rocking, etc., etc., or the, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the cruise, let's say, in America, oh, 7,000 yeah, seven, tons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hellfest is one of the first, I think, that uh, people mentioned, so really, really nice yeah. that, um, that that would be your dream, dream festival. Now, as far as your vocals is concerned, um, already so many years of course but yeah. did you start on your own did you had a vocal coach somewhere because it's not um, an easy technique let's say as far as vocals is concerned you yeah. can damage your your throat so you have to, sometimes have to be careful what yeah, you do yeah. you know, know what you do so well i gotta say <laughs> touch wood yeah. I'm, I'm going good on this tour and i feel like it's getting stronger every night which is good so all right finally got my technique you know sorted out yeah, yeah. um but yeah, I, it started out with me just figuring out like the way to do it that wasn't gonna rip my throat out. Yeah. And then uh. I did get some lessons off this guy called Kane oh. from I don't know if you know a band called the Ementor um, from Perth in Australia. They're not really doing oh. that much anymore, okay. but he's an amazing vocal coach. And it was an interesting experience because Whoa. Yeah. we didn't do any like we didn't really talk you know we talked about like the style and stuff but we didn't do any screaming in the lessons mm -hmm. it's just all about breath yeah. you know like projecting um, but the thing for me man is like if I'm in a relaxed headspace and I'm relaxed on the day then my voice will be good it's better yeah. and like same same goes for guitar too I can kind of like overdo it if I warm up too much <laughs> It like, has the opposite effect. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I just if I'm relaxed and I'm in a good headspace, then I'll be, right. I'll be sweet. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's that's really interesting. Thank you so much. Now, what are the plans in the future? It's let's say one of the last questions I have. Yeah. Well, what's up the next month or maybe for next year? Um, we don't have a whole <laughs> lot planned next year at this point, but there's, there's some potential tours in Australia that we might be doing, um, and. We'll see, we'll, we'll see what's on the table after uh -huh. this European tour, but yeah, we really want to come back and um, just keep building the, the Europe market, you know. Um, Australia's a small place, so you, yeah. you, don't, you don't want to overplay it too much, but yeah. um, we also want to do some writing again, probably start writing a new album next All year, right. I'd say. So, yeah, it's, it's been a big year for us this year, so of yeah, course. new album, done a big Aussie tour, and we've done, done this, so yeah. yeah, I think we might just pump the brakes for the first few months of the year, and then we'll... Yeah, do some writing, but yeah, we definitely want to come back here. That's like sure, my, my very priority, welcome so. here. We hope yeah. to to see you on one of the festivals maybe here yeah, in sure. Belgium. There are some quite some interesting yeah, as I've, well. I've heard, so yeah. grass pop, Alcatraz, etc. Yeah. Um, one last message that you would like to share with the viewers. Yeah. Um, 
could be anything. Sure. Oh, I just <laughs> want to say like everyone that's come to this tour means the world. It's been amazing so far. And yeah, it's been so cool to meet all these wonderful people on the other side of the world. It's a very cool opportunity. So it's not lost on us. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having us. <laughs> all right. Flaming Wreckage. Check it out on the social media. Uh, check it out also live. They're amazing. So definitely something to check. Thank you so much, Dave, for right. this interview. Good luck, success, and hope to see you next year yeah. somewhere in Belgium again. Fuck yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks, man.